If you don't see what the big deal is about 3D movies, you may have a vision problem. A local business made some noise on Wall Street this afternoon. Para las últimas noticias, eche un vistazo a nuestra página de web. The polls have closed, the ballots are being counted, and very soon, one week before primary elections, candidates are putting out a new batch of television ads. What it feels like to be a Patriots player, and I gotta say it, it feels pretty good. Feels real good. Breaking news about the Super Bowl. New York Giants backup defensive end Adrian Awasa was arrested this morning by Arizona State Police on suspicion of drunk driving. Mike, you mentioned it earlier as breaking news. We have Senate President Joseph Maltobano, the projected loser in this race. Otherwise, though, it's been a good night for incumbents, and he's been in there for 20 years. What happened? Well, it's been a very good night. Speaking of the incumbents, Teresa Paiva, we do think that she'll make a, a bid for the Senate presidency Well, now? obviously, we're going to have to see. This news is working new details now on Rhode Island's recovery from March's historic floods. The city of Cranston is now applying for federal funds to buy out properties that are prone to flooding along the Patuxent River. The application is due in November and participation by homeowners would be voluntary. But those we spoke with today say they are all for it. The city says it could be another 18 months before they find out if their application was approved. New at 10, a stretch of road will be closed in Narragansett and South Kingstown tonight. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you the area affected Route 108 North and South from the Route 1 overpass to the Dillon Rotary. The road will be closed as the DOT sets beams. The closure began at 9 tonight and will continue until 5 a.m. Detours are in place. Meanwhile, in the race for Republican race for governor, we only have two candidates for that seat right now, John Robitaille and Victor Moffitt. John Robitaille coming in right now with 69% of the vote, Moffitt with 31%. That is with 62% of the precincts reporting. Now, obviously, the race to replace Congressman Patrick Kennedy is getting a lot of attention this primary day. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White is live at the Biltmore in Providence, where the David Cicilline camp is gathering right now. Tim? Results keep pouring in. In fact, we have breaking news right now. John Robitaille has been declared the winner against Victor Moffat. John Robitaille, former gubernatorial aide to Governor Kachiri. Of course, we'll have more on that coming up later tonight. And earlier tonight, we did speak with John Robitaille about tonight's race. Here's what he had to say. Tonight, the winner moves on to the general election in November, and the winner then succeeds Patrick Lynch, who has been the state's AG for the past eight years. And state election officials tell us, other than a few minor hiccups, things ran pretty smoothly. <laughs> Province Mayor David Cicilline there at the Biltmore with a very jubilant speech. A lot of people there behind him. He has now been declared the winner for the Democratic primary. He will be facing off against either Kara Russo or John Laughlin in the general election in November. All right, thanks, Tony. And really quickly, we have some breaking news. We are calling the Providence mayor's race here for Angel Tavares. He has won here with 49% of the vote against John Lombardi, 90% of the precincts reporting. He certainly has a lot to celebrate and dance about tonight. It was a hard-fought primary. The box truck wanted in the search has been found, but the criminals remain at large at this hour. Investigators from the Woonsocket Police, State Police, and the FBI went before news cameras again today. They tell us they're unsure what role each of the suspects had in the shooting. We've asked investigators if they've uncovered a motive for the man's murder yet, but they told us that's not something they can reveal at this time. New at 10, nearly two dozen people are homeless tonight. Now investigators are trying to figure out what started a fire at a Providence building. The fire happened here on O'Connor Street. Firefighters arrived to find the structure fully engulfed. The fire was so intense, four nearby houses were damaged. No one was hurt. It's not clear how the fire started. Ring America, several officials in the city of Bell, California are facing charges tonight after being arrested for padding paychecks at the expense of taxpayers. Among those arrested, the mayor and former city manager. We first told you about the controversy over their salaries earlier this summer. All eight people are now charged with corruption and misuse of funds. Tonight, the DOT is working on a plan to improve traffic safety at a busy interchange. Crews are about to get to work. They will be out overnight installing so-called traffic delineators where 95 South meets Route 146 South in Providence. The test will run through the next two weeks in an effort to reprogram drivers and ease traffic backups.